eye to eye with thyroid eye disease. This is the essential introduction to thyroid eye disease. Welcome to another Pace of Production. Hi, I'm Dr. Charles So Parker. We've worked very hard to put together this series of videos on autoimmune thyroid disorders and thyroid eye disease. We hope you will find the full series highly informative and reassuring since we recognize that thyroid eye disease can be overwhelming and perhaps even frightening. But much can be done for thyroid eye disease and once you fully understand the disorder, you need not be frightened. As you view these videos, please keep five things in mind. First, nobody needs to lose vision from thyroid eye disease. In over 7,000 patients that we have treated in our practice, nobody has gone blind. Second, some of the images used in this video series are graphic because extreme examples of disease are often used to demonstrate important points. Please keep in mind, however, that most people do not progress to the far limits of the disorder. If we were to grade thyroid eye disease on a scale of say one to 10, where one is the mildest of disorders and 10 is the most extreme, the vast majority of people with thyroid eye disease never progress beyond a two or a three. So even though this teaching series is intended for people wanting to learn about all levels of disease, not all of the information will apply to everyone. And you should not assume that this information is predictive of any individual situation. Finally, please remember that all cases, even the most severe, are treatable. All of the photographs you will see in this series are of people who have courageously allowed us to use their images for teaching purposes. Please regard them with the compassion and the respect that they deserve. Finally, the material presented here is based upon my personal experience in treating over 7,000 people with thyroid eye disease. Although the field, like all of medicine, is progressing, the fundamental tenets here will remain true, and this series will hopefully be updated as things change. The material in this series is meant to be easily understood. Parts, however, may be somewhat dense, and you may wish to review particular sections. If you have suggestions on how to improve this series, we welcome your comments. You may find us on the web at www.plasticeyesurgery.com, email us at info at pesahouston.com, write to us at Plastic Eye Surgery Associates, 3730 Kirby Drive, Suite 900, Houston, Texas, 77098, or telephone us at 713-795-0705. We extend our gratitude to all whose work has advanced our understanding of thyroid eye disease, and are especially grateful to our good friends, Drs. Jonathan Dutton and Robert Kirsten, whom we credit with sharing some of the images and ideas that we've used to make these videos. Throughout this series, look for summaries with this appearance. These help to solidify essential points. This educational series, composed of 10 general sections, is further divided into a total of 17 videos, which may be watched and rewatched as desired. However, we strongly recommend that each video be viewed at least once in the designated order. Each section builds upon knowledge provided in prior sections. The first section, Thyroid Gland Basics, is further divided into four videos entitled Essential Thyroid Gland Basics, The Impact of Thyroid Hormones Throughout the Body, My Thyroid Blood Tests Are Normal But I Feel Terrible, Part 1, and My Thyroid Blood Tests Are Normal But I Feel Terrible, Part 2. The second section is about autoimmune thyroid disorders and is broken up into three videos. Autoimmune Disease in the Thyroid, Graves and Hashimoto's Diseases, and What is Thyroid Eye Disease? The third section is about who gets thyroid eye disease and why. The fourth section touches very briefly on the immunology and molecular biology of thyroid eye disease and is really written for the lay person. The fifth section reminds us that autoimmune thyroid disorders affect the whole body and explain many symptoms that people with thyroid disorders may be experiencing. Section six is by far the longest section and the longest single video, explaining in basic terms the many ways in which autoimmune thyroid disorders affect the eye. Section seven reveals the natural time course of thyroid eye disease 
and explains the active and inactive phases of this disease. Section 8 explains general concepts in the management of thyroid eye disease. This is divided into three videos, one on things that can be done easily in the home or office, one on more serious non-surgical management during active phase crisis, and one on surgical management for definitive rehabilitation. Section 9 explains what things a person with thyroid eye disease and perhaps most autoimmune disorders can do to potentially minimize the severity of their disease. Finally, Section 10 shows some real patients and their successes in dealing with thyroid eye disease.